Let's begin with a powerful statement. More than 99% of Power BI report creators are not graphic designers. And yet, we are tasked with creating data visualizations every day, trying our very best to help our colleagues understand data quicker and make data-driven decisions. But who helps us in creating report elements that are truly driven by data? Today, I'm excited to introduce you to an incredible tool. This software will help ensure that the most critical elements on your report page grabs your user's attention. Essentially, it empowers us, report creators, to engage our audience and create impactful data visualizations. If you are ready, let's get started. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to guide you through the world of Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. By doing so, you won't miss any of my Power BI videos. It means a lot to me and helps others to find content like this. Let me clarify something up front. Much like many of you watching this tutorial, I'm not a graphic designer. I don't claim to design the most visually captivating reports or dashboards for social media. I am a BI professional with a finance background. That's about as far from the word of design as you can get, right? So you might wonder, why am I talking about data visualization? It's because I want to introduce you a tool called 3MVAS or visual attention software. This tool helps you understand how your report is seen in those crucial first three to five seconds after opening it. Those initial moments are absolutely critical for engaging our audience through data visualization. But why talk about this tool when I can simply show you how it operates? Let's head over to my PC so we can start exploring it. Imagine I've designed this report to present sales information in a specific way. I've included the requested information from stakeholders, integrated several data visualization elements, and added a touch of style with a background image and the company's logo. Before going live with this report, I'm keen to understand where my user's attention will focus. I would aim to direct their focus to the KPIs placed in the top right section. My goal is simple. I want them to quickly grasp whether the business segment is experiencing growth from one period to another. Once they absorb this key insight, they are more likely to delve deeper into the analysis, understanding the factors driving these changes, whether it's growth or erosion. Now, what options do I have? Sure, I could organize focus group sessions to get a feedback on the report, but let's face it, in most cases, that might not be the most effective option. Time is a precious resource in a corporate environment. However, I do have another option. I can utilize an automated tool that simulates eye tracking. Let's give it a try. To begin, I take a screenshot of the canvas within Power BI Desktop and upload it to the VAS online interface. In the description box below, you will find the link to access the software along with the coupon code, but more on that later. Once the screenshot is uploaded, click on the Analyze button. Next, navigate to the digital column on the right and select the other option. Before we dive into analyzing the data visualization, there's a feature allowing us to mark areas of interest. We will delve into this at another time. For now, let's skip this step and proceed by clicking on Analyze in the bottom right corner. Take a look at this. To start with, we presented with a heat map offering a visual summary of the prominent areas drawing attention. As with most heat maps, red indicates a high likelihood that users will notice that particular area. Yellow signifies a lower probability, while blue indicates a chance below 50%. In other words, this visual heat map unveils what captures and distracts attention within the report page. Interestingly, despite the KPIs being color-coded red, the heat map suggests they aren't as noticeable. The most prominent area seems to be the monthly sales column chart with rolling averages. Looking at the result, I think we can all agree that noticeable areas are scattered across the page, a scenario that might not be ideal for quickly capturing users' attention. The reason why this information is so powerful is that it focuses on the initial 3-5 to five seconds of looking at an image. This means we are working with a universal attention span that is true for all human beings. The so-called pre-attentive processing. It's already quite amazing that someone like me 
not a designer by trade, can easily understand the report elements that my user will notice when opening the report. But guess what? There's more to explore. On the second page of the tool, we can find the so-called hotspot section. Here, the tool scores the likelihood of a report user looking within the hotspot regions identified in a heat map result within the first 3-5 to five seconds of viewing the report. Once again, we are focusing on the importance of immediately grabbing attention and ensuring the report's key message is visible and comprehensible upon logging in. And if you look at the results, it's clear that in the first 3-5 to five seconds, report consumers will not notice the KPIs. Also, there is only a mid-range probability that users are going to clearly grasp the idea of what this report page is about. Clearly, there's room for improvement. We can all agree on that. The final feature of VAS that I want to discuss today is the gaze sequence. This feature highlights the four most probable locations a person will glance at in the likely viewing orders within the initial 3 to 5 seconds. Once again, I can't stress enough the importance of this information. It allows us, report developers, to gauge if the anticipated viewer attention aligns with our intended data visualization goals. Essentially, we aim for our crucial visual elements to be seen immediately upon opening the report. Based on today's example, it's clear to see that the current version of the visualization falls short in this aspect. The KPIs aren't even glanced initially. When I first heard about and saw in action the 3MVS software, I knew immediately that it would be a fantastic tool for report developers. It helps us greatly in designing impactful data visualizations, especially for those of us who are not designers. While the tool was originally designed for professionals in the design field, I do believe that we, report developers, can gain invaluable insights by utilizing its features in our work. Today's focus was a quick demo of the tool and some of its functionalities. However, I'm planning more videos that delve into its working and how it can streamline your data visualization process. Also, sharing real-life examples of how I created more impactful, data-driven report pages using the insights from the initial analysis of my data visualizations. If you have any questions or comments regarding this tool, drop them in the comment section below and I try my best to address them as soon as possible. Oh, and one more important thing before I forget. When you sign up for your free trial, be sure to use the code VASBA2024. This code will give you 5 additional analyses valid for 30 days from the date of code redemption. The code expires on the 31st of March 2024, so make sure to take advantage of it soon. If you are eager to learn more about this tool with me, stay tuned for more updates. Since you stay till the end, I'm confident that you find value in this video. If that's the case, please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to explore more of my tutorials like the ones above me. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.